As festivals are celebrated at the Kachithiv Island in the sea of Sri Lanka, Dr. Subramaniam Swami, a senior leader of India's ruling Bharatiya Janata Party, has made certain remarks that can potentially impact regional peace. <laughs> Nobody can gain control of the Adams Bridge. Some foolish MPs say that the project must be restarted. That can't be done. The Supreme Court has issued a judgment on this. I have filed petitions on this. In the first petition, I have argued that no one can take control of the Adams Bridge. The Supreme Court accepted this. The petition filed seeking to declare this as a national heritage is to be taken up on the 22nd. The remarks of Dr. Subramaniam Swami cannot be disregarded or taken lightly. This is not just because he is a senior figure in India's ruling Bharatiya Janata Party, but also because he is a close associate of some Sri Lankan politicians. The territories of India and Sri Lanka have never been disputed for decades. Therefore, declaring the Adams Bridge as India's national heritage monument is a clear interference with Sri Lanka's sovereignty. This proposal has emerged amid Sri Lanka's economic crisis that has forced the country to seek loans from foreign nations. It goes without saying that the country is already grappling with issues in importing essential goods including fuel and medicines. Why are Sri Lanka's leaders afraid of opposing statements that infringe on the country's territorial sovereignty? Countries like India, China and the US are known to be more powerful than Sri Lanka. But the bravery and verve of Sri Lankans who have a proud history dating back to thousands of years is more powerful than the financial strength of these nations.